Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Busted. Obama tried to keep this a secret from Michelle during their Buckingham Palace sleepover. According to a new book written by former President Obama's national security adviser Ben Rhodes, The World as It Is, a memoir of the Obama White House, which is slated to come out this coming Tuesday. He reveals that despite feeling wonderstruck by the Queen he also lovingly compared the sovereign to his beloved grandmother, whom he nicknamed Toot. He also continues by revealing that even though Barack and Michelle Obama were the President and First Lady when they visited Buckingham Palace back in May of 2011, it didn't stop them from feeling awe while meeting Queen Elizabeth. I really love the Queen, then President Obama told Rhodes, according to the book. She's just like Toot, my grandmother. Courteous. Straightforward. All about what she thinks. She doesn't suffer fools. But perhaps what Obama kept from his wife was the best part of that whole visit. According to the book, as the former president, along with some aides, was going over his speech and the first lady was getting ready for bed in another room, a butler appeared. Mr. President, pardon me. The butler reportedly said. There's a mouse. Said the butler. Obama replied, don't tell the first lady. We'll try to catch it, sir. Just don't tell the first lady, Obama repeated. Here is more on Rhodes' upcoming book via Hickory Stick Bookshop. From one of Barack Obama's closest aides comes a revelatory behind-the-scenes account of his presidency and how idealism can confront harsh reality and still survive in the tradition of Arthur Schlesinger Jr.'s 8,000 Days, John F. Kennedy in the White House. For nearly 10 years, Ben Rhodes saw almost everything that happened at the center of the Obama administration first as a speechwriter, then as deputy national security adviser, and finally as a multipurpose aide and close collaborator. He started every morning in the Oval Office with the President's daily briefing, traveled the world with Obama, and was at the center of some of the most consequential and controversial moments of the presidency. Now he tells the full story of his partnership and, ultimately, friendship with the man who also happened to be a historic President of the United States. Rhodes was not your typical presidential confidant, and this is not your typical White House memoir. Rendered in vivid, novelistic detail by someone who was a writer before he was a staffer. This is a rare look inside the most poignant, tense, and consequential moments of the Obama presidency waiting out the bin Laden raid in the Situation Room, responding to the Arab Spring, reaching a nuclear agreement with Iran, leading secret negotiations with the Cuban government to normalize relations, and confronting the resurgence of nationalism and nativism that culminated in the election of Donald Trump. In the world as it is, Rhodes shows what it was like to be there from the early days of the Obama campaign to the final hours of the presidency. It is a story populated by such characters as Susan Rice, Samantha Power, Hillary Clinton, Bob Gates, and above all Barack Obama, who comes to life on the page in moments of great urgency and disarming intimacy. This is the most vivid portrayal yet of Obama's worldview and presidency, a chronicle of a political education by a writer of enormous talent, and an essential record of the forces that shaped the last decade. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.